What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the Gotham Knights action figures. That's right. Here we are. We're literally talking about action figures. Actually, I don't mind it at all because they do look pretty darn cool, and there's some interesting stuff with this um, in terms of, like, the, the knowledge of nothing. And so what do I mean by that? Well, you know, back, I believe it was in August, the Nightwing action figure here was actually leaked we saw somebody take like a picture of like him in the box and we're like oh that's that's cool now truth be told like i just said five seconds ago i don't really care about the action figures i'm probably not going to get them regardless okay a couple things number one they are cool and i think people will buy them and i you know I, <laughs> go ahead uh, there's nothing wrong with that and number two does that signal anything for Gotham Knights. Obviously, that last one is maybe, to me at least, the most important one. Maybe to you guys, maybe not. And uh, it's also the most still unknown, which, which sucks. However, I would say it seems to be getting closer. Now, I'm not somebody who watches the action figure markets. I've watched, like, the Funko Pop markets before. I wouldn't call myself some sort of, like, expert in, like, knowing that, like, when a certain thing comes out. Although, like, you can kind of tell how Funkos work, right? They, 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 they announce the Funkos, or they at least announce the pre-orders, but you know what you're getting. And even, like, the Spider-Man one, right? No Way Home. That happened a few months ago, a couple months before the movie comes out. And maybe when the movie comes out, we get a couple other, you know, a special you know Funkos that don't that uh, I guess would spoil it if you announced them a few months ago so that's really the only stuff I know about personally I don't really know about McFarlane you know toys but that's I mean that's okay and if you guys know you can definitely let me know but they look cool um Robin and Nightwing look to have quite the lips um that's all I'm gonna say without getting you know maybe I'll get myself in trouble just by saying that they seem to have quite the lips and I'll leave it there but you know you have all four of them and it says McFarlane Toys have shared out a teaser of their next round of DC multiverse figures these are the Gotham Knights uh, video game characters Nightwing Red Hood Tim Drake Robin and Batgirl they all feature new sculpts based on their look in the upcoming game no word yet on the pricing exclusivity or, re or release date stay tuned so those are the most important things and those are the things that we didn't get but again I, like we're moving like things are moving so like back in august we had the leak that like this was going to happen and then now we have and this was yesterday by the way we have the official you know confirmation that these things are happening so does that mean it's getting closer i would personally wager a bet that it does mean it's getting closer um the release date of the toys is i would say a bigger indicator uh over them announcing it does that make sense but i i do think them just saying you know these are real and these are coming and we feel confident this is how at least this is how i read it i mean this could be completely wrong but it's literally just my opinion how i would read it is they feel confident enough to at least just announce that these are real and these are coming and why do it now versus august why do it now ver because i mean very clearly that nightwing toy was like ready like in august you know what i mean so why didn't you do it in the summer well maybe it's it's like you know this is a better time period because of whenever gotham knights is coming out so i i would say you know because we don't really know an answer i would say this is a, a general indicator that it's coming sooner rather than later the stupid thing is in terms of the game industry what in god's name does that even mean i can't tell you every game is different we've talked about that before right but you know again i i, I keep saying it i think that march april period makes a lot of sense it depends on obviously when they announce the release date but i really i still feel good about it i know uh because of dc fandom a lot of people thought or think that you know it's further out now than maybe they originally thought i'm, I'm holding strong on the first half of the year and, and really that middle of the first half zero percent chance i think it comes out you know january february but i think march april is a is a good time and i feel like that would make sense right even if you go into the funko pop world so you announce the action figures now but we don't know when they're coming out you announce it in November, I mean, December, January, February, March. March is four months. April is five months. Like, that's that seems fair. That seems right. Again, I don't know the history of these toys for, like, other franchises, but I feel like that kind of makes sense. You're not going to announce these toys, and then they come out a full year from now with the game, right? At least I, don't, at least I would hope not. I don't know how it works, but I, I, I would assume that's a stupid idea. And that's just, you know, my opinion. So let me know what you guys think 
in the comments below do you think this means anything do you think this means it's coming out you know sooner rather than later let me know make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all of these videos go up if you want to follow me anywhere else i have a twitter i have a second youtube channel we also have patreon and youtube memberships links for them all are in the description below thank you for watching and i hope to see you all on the next video